Hi champions, how you doing? Um, I know what you're thinking. I could do a haircut. Well, we're still in lockdown, so that's not possible. Uh, we're going to be inside today because it's pretty grim outside. So hopefully you made the most of the weekend weather. Um, we've got a drill today, which you won't need any equipment at all. So you've got no excuses whatsoever. And wait till the end of the video because I've got a little question for you. See if you can answer it. Uh, let's get to it, shall we? This drill we're going to be working on today, uh, I've heard a few people call it the head banger, so I'm going to go along with that. It sounds pretty good name. And what we're going to do, just put your arms across towards your shoulders, cross, cross them over, and we're literally just going to allow yourself, your head to just pop against the wall, keeping the posture you're in. And what that will allow you to do as you, as you go through these movements will get you to feeling of turning without shifting your head or coming up and down. So we're going to pop our head against there, arms across our chest here, you get this feeling of turning on the way back. You can feel yourself, so your weight is evenly balanced, but your head's slightly further forward, but it gets this feeling of not moving. And as we turn through, we're obviously gonna come out of our swing there. So it'll be back and through from that position there. You will see um, other people, maybe someone like juniors, who tend to do this when they swing the club. They bring their head off the wall there because they want to get back onto it, trying to gain a bit more power. That's pretty common with the juniors and the lighter people who don't want, who want to get a bit more distance through it. So, head against the wall, arms across your shoulders, back, through, and pull out of the shot. So that's today's video tip for you. It's a fairly straightforward one, the head banger. Head against the wall, get yourself turning. It helps you with your spine angle. Uh, as I said, the only time you come off the wall is when you come into your full finish, chest facing your target, or what would be your target, right knee under your body, right heel raised, if you're right-handed. Um, the question I was gonna ask you, because someone asked me this the other day, is uh, what is your top three golf courses that you've played? Um, now, this is in no particular order, because I don't think I can find an order for it. They'll all be my num number ones. Um, I was lucky enough to be a member of the Royal Hong Kong Golf Club, so I would probably say the golf course at Fan Ling, maybe the old course there. Uh, that's a really good course. That would definitely be in my top three. Royal Westmoreland in Barbados, and close to the home, I would say Hindhead is a really stunning course. The front nine's amazing, gorgeous course. If you ever get a chance, somewhere local to play, always go and go and play that. Um, let me know what your courses are. So on the comments below, if you can make a comment, let me know which ones they are. Other than that, um, you can always um, follow me. Uh, it's at Glenn Johnson Golf. That's on Instagram and Facebook. If you like the videos, give them a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you like the, the videos as, as well. Uh, that's it from me. I will see you on Friday for my weekend challenge. Uh, have a really good rest of the week. Um, take care, everyone, and stay safe.